Harbor Freight. We're gonna find the cheapest packs I can possibly find and test it out. Mm, here we go. No, nope, 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 nope. $7. Number one's plastic. Here we go. Yes. It came from this. We're gonna leave with that also. Okay, so after I went to Harbor Freight, my mission to find the cheapest axe they have, I got two hatchets. Not just one, but two. So this one is a little over 12 bucks, and this one was $19. Now, these were the two cheapest ones. They weren't like gimmicky, plasticky handles. So let's look at these. We're gonna do a full review on them and test them out a little bit later. This is not bad for 12 bucks. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, the handle's a little bit more wide than I was expecting. It's not as much rounded. You know, of course, I'm used to using the Grand Forest Brooks small forest axe, a trail boss, and, you know, some other Gucci hatchets and axes. But for 12 bucks, you can't beat this. Um, you know, they gave you a, a decent little thing. It's, honestly, it's, it's fairly sharp. It's not too bad. You take a file to this, it would do pretty good. I mean, for 12 bucks, a poor man hatchet axe, I mean... It's really impressive. I have no idea what type of steel they're gonna have on this, but you know, not too shabby for 12 bucks. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, you could get a good swing on this, not heavy at all. Who's this for? Mm, I would say somebody on a budget. If you're wanting to put together a kit to give to somebody, that's that's who this is for. I would say if, if you wanted to put kits together to leave in your vehicles, not bad. And along that train of thought for your vehicles, that's why I bought this. Being a former firefighter, you know, this this is very reminiscent of, uh, of what we used to have. Um, just a little bit higher quality. But, I mean, it's Harbor Freight for 19 bucks. They do give you this kind of little sheath here. Let's look at the... I don't even know if I can get this out without cutting myself. This is... Uh, there we go. Get that off. This is not bad. Not the dullest, but yet not the sharpest. I would say I'm probably gonna keep this. So why did I get this? Well, it's 19 bucks, but honestly, I got this. I'm gonna leave this in my emergency kit for my vehicle for the winter, honestly. This is something great to keep in your vehicle for survival. Um, you know, if, if somebody's in a wreck, you know, we, uh, Side note, when I was a firefighter, you know, when people in car crashes and stuff to get them out, we would use the jaws of life and hydraulics and stuff like that. But honestly, <laughs> there has been quite a few times I have busted people out of vehicles with an ax. <laughs> and nothing but an ax. You would be surprised what one of these axes, especially with your pick on the back of it, you can do with some determination and a little bit of willpower now these those were higher grade than this i am sure but this seems to be pretty decent is this decent you know well i don't know we're gonna see it's uh it's not as sharp as a lot of my other stuff but but honestly you'll be shocked at what you can do with a good stone and honestly what you can do with a file we're not going to go into that today but Maybe we'll do that in a different video, but you can definitely sharpen this up. This is a really good, uh, for 12 bucks, I'm not going to complain. Is it something that I would trust and take in the backcountry? Probably not. This would probably never see the backcountry just because, I mean, it's $12. And I'm a prima donna. But, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely, it's definitely a good value, like much stuff at Harbor Freight. My other axes compared to this, I mean, you're really comparing a Harbor Freight toolbox to a snap-on toolbox. So, I mean, you can't really compare apples and oranges, but for the value, this is very, very good. What would I do to fix this up? Obviously, I would, you know, get some ballast oil, oil it up good, get a good grind on it, get it nice and sharp. If I need to, probably I would file this down and thin out the edge just a little bit, get some of this, uh, funk from the factory off it's very sticky i will say it's very sticky it has a film maybe something they coated this with to help with you know shipping and anti-rust 
So I would get all that off and get it nice down to its natural state. I am glad, I will say I'm very glad they didn't coat this with a whole lot of, you know, lacquered and stuff like that. You know, you don't want lacquered all over your axe handle because it's slippery and you want it in its natural form. As far as for the fire axe, definitely uh, would get this uh, wrapping off here. I'm sure they put this on there for the tape. But we definitely want to get the, that wrapping off, you know, not, ooh, that, ooh, that is very abrasive. That paint's kind of dried and definitely not very smooth. Um, you know, I probably would sand that off, to be honest with you. The grind on, <laughs> the grind on this is not the best, but then again... You're paying $19 for a, you know, budget fire axe. Like I said, this is this is going to live in my vehicle for emergencies and my emergency kit just to have something. It's better than nothing. So if you like this content, we're going to make some more. Uh, maybe I'll do some field testing on this. So if you like this content, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video.